Welcome to our holiday edition. Whether you are celebrating the end of a harvest, a historical event, or a religious tradition, the underlying message is goodwill to all. In the true spirit of giving, I ask that no animal sacrifices be made by offering you this cruelty-free delight. Please enjoy and share my gold mashed potatoes. Here's what you will need. One five pound bag of Yukon gold potatoes. Gold in color throughout. These are not only creamy and delicious, but unlike starchy white potatoes, these do not require added fat to enjoy them. However, being the holiday season, we are pulling out all the stops and making these much richer than they normally would be. You will also need one bunch of green onions, finely chopped, roughly 10 cloves of garlic or one head of garlic cut in half, two tablespoons of olive oil. Since we will not be cooking with this oil, but adding it in raw, extra virgin olive oil is best for both flavor as well as the healthy omega fats present. You will also need one tablespoon of onion powder. Quite simply, it's dehydrated onions that have been milled into a powder. One half cup of raw cashews. I prefer the pieces, unlike the image here, since they are cheaper and we will be blending them up anyway. Be sure that they are raw and not cooked cashews as the flavor and fat content will be different. You will also need roughly one cup of water to blend, two teaspoons of salt. You can add more later if you would like, but we'll start with that amount for now. There is also an option for liquid smoke. Prior to being salted and smoked, Bacon is really just plain old pork. So, if you would like to make this a loaded mashed potato dish, add the liquid smoke and give it that iconic bacony flavor. It's entirely up to you. So let's begin the method. Now in cooking, nothing is really in a linear timeline you are really, if you're doing it right, you're multitasking. So bear with me on these instructions, okay? Let's begin with the roasted garlic. Now if using the whole head, of course, like I said before, we will cut it in half and wrap it in foil. There is no extra fat or oil needed to do this. It will roast in its own juices. Just make sure that the foil is around it tight so that it steams a little bit inside the package. If you're using the pre-shelled, count out 10 and wrap it with foil. Just as easy. Now go ahead and put them in your toaster oven. Set it for 350 degrees and begin roasting it for roughly 30 to 45 minutes. It kind of varies. Once they're cooled, you'll just squeeze them out of their little pods if you went with the whole head. But for right now, just put them in the toaster oven, set it, and we go on to the next thing. Now we're going to begin to cook the potatoes. Start by washing and scrubbing them. They did come out of the ground, so there's a good chance there's a lot of dirt on them. You can peel them if you want, but I never do. You can cut them in half or into cubes to quicken the cooking time, but that's also entirely up to you. You can also steam them in a rice cooker or boil them in a pot, whatever is easier for you, again, your choice. So go ahead and get that started and we go on to the next thing. So here we are making our cream. So. Once you start soaking the cashews, 
Okay, you're going to take out your blender, pour in the water, and then also pour in your cashews. So you're going to let them soak for about 20 minutes, okay? And you're gonna do this while everything else is going at the same time because that's really how cooking is. I will stress though, if you do decide to spend those 20 minutes watching TV, folding clothes, have a drink, whatever, just be sure to set that stove timer or an alert on your phone before you walk away and lose track of time. Okay, now you can actually multitask without burning anything. And now we're on to step two. For step two, we are assuming everything else is cooked and cooled. So you had your 20 minutes of whatever you want to do time. You came back, you checked on your roasted garlic, Maybe it's done, maybe it's not. You check on your potatoes, maybe they're done, maybe they're not. In this case, I'm assuming that was plenty of time. I think it is. You've turned off your toaster oven. You've turned off your stove. And here we are at the face of your cashews that have been soaking. Step two, now that they are soft, go ahead and add in the salt, the olive oil, the now roasted garlic, onion powder, and the optional liquid smoke. The measurement is up to you. Start with a few dashes. And then we blend, nice and smooth, taste. Does it need more salt? Does it need more smoke? It's up to you. Tasting is just as important as the rest of the cooking process, okay? Don't forget to taste as you go. So now we're at the mash and stir to finish. So once again, the garlic is done, it's blended in with the cream, and we're ready to finish the potatoes. So your potatoes at this point are kind of the last thing to get finished. They should already be cooked, they should be cooled if not already on their way to cooling, and they should be drained before you add the cream that we made. Mash it by hand, or if you really like it smooth and creamy, go ahead and put everything into a food processor and process until it's smooth or chunky, however you like. Taste it again. At this point, you might need more salt. You did add a very large volume of vegetable matter, being the potatoes, and they haven't been pre-salted, so there's a good chance that what I added in in the beginning wasn't enough. But again, it's up to you. Go ahead and taste it one last time to check for saltiness and for that smoke. If you think it's ready to go, hand stir in the chopped green onions and serve. It's all done. For about $8, we made a restaurant quality, creamy mashed potato dish for the entire family. Please give a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and be sure to subscribe for more recipes. Now eat to your heart's content and have a happy and cruelty-free holiday.